So another test that we can use to test convergence of an infinite series is what's called the P-series test. Uh, and for these, our series have to be in a very specific form. And what it is is if we have a series where it's going from 1 to infinity, and it's a rational expression that is our general term, but what we're looking for here is that we have a constant for the numerator, and then our denominator is n to a power. And what the P-series test says is that if this power is bigger than 1, our series converges. If this power is less than or equal to 1, our series diverges. This is really a special case of what's called the integral test, which is one of my other videos. But this is a really nice one kind of to know on its own because it is very, very quick to apply. So, for example, if we look at what's called the harmonic series, this is actually a pretty well-known series within that, in that we're doing one plus one half plus one third plus one third plus one third so on where it's always plus one over n. Well, this is the infinite series where n goes one to infinity of one over n. Well, as you can see, we do have a constant in the numerator. We have n to the first in the denominator, so our power is 1. And then since our power is less than or equal to 1, this series diverges. And that's all we have to do for the P-series test. Now the harmonic series is interesting because of the fact that it does diverge, but it diverges incredibly slowly. It takes a very long time for this to look like it diverges. So if you were looking at a graph of the uh, sequence of sums, of the partial sums, it's growing incredibly slowly. Uh, but it does eventually diverge. If we were to take an example here, if we had the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of pi over n to the 3 halves, uh, pi is a constant on top, I have n to the 3 halves on the bottom, and I have that series is well, since the power P is greater than 1, this series converges. Now I don't know what it converges to, uh, nor do I know the interval of convergence. If I wanted to know the interval of convergence, I would need to go ahead and do the ratio test. Uh, but the important thing being that this is an incredibly fast way to just decide if a P-series converges or diverges.